Hey everyone, welcome back to Alchemy with Zero Phase. This is Eric. Uh, in this video, I wanted to address uh, a question that somebody had a while ago. I did a video on how to create pixel art. And in the video, I did go through a, a workflow, but the one thing I didn't do, I guess, was show you how to install the extension that I used to do the uh, pixelization. So what I'm going to do is just go through the process of installing that, what you need to watch for, where to get it, uh, and then some basic workflow stuff with it as well. Um, I'll put the link to this uh, to the GitHub for this in the in the description. So the extension you're looking for is one done by uh, the creator of Automatic 11.11 called Stable Diffusion Web UI Pixelization. This is not in the uh, normal repository when you load this up here. If you do a search for Pixel, you're going to get uh, some some things here that deal with pixelization, but they are not uh, this ex this particular extension. Okay, at least I don't think so. Let me double check this one right here. Maybe it is. Ah, there it is. Yep. That, okay, so it, it it is in there. So you can do this one of two ways. You can install from here, install, um, or you can uh, install from the GitHub directly using the URL, okay? Copy the, go to code, go and you copy this URL right here. And you're gonna go to install from URL. You're gonna paste it here and hit install. Give it just a minute. That should say installed into and gives you the directory. Okay, there is one other thing you need to do though. There are three models that you need to download. They are listed if you scroll down the GitHub page. You need to download each of these, and then you're gonna put it into the checkpoints directory in that extensions directory, okay? Let me get that set up. I'll download those and I'll show you real quick. Okay, so as you can see, there are three models in this directory. In the directory you're looking for, here's the root of the Stable Diffusion Web UI. There's an extensions folder. Then you go into Stable Diffusion Web UI Pixelization and then checkpoints. Those three files you download, you're gonna paste in there or download them directly to there, however you wanna do it. Um, once you're done with that, you'll probably need to reload the interface. So we're gonna go through and do a quick uh, reload on this. Okay, once you're done reloading your backend, reload the website. And if you go to your extras tab, you should see enable pixelization, keep resolution, and then pixel size. Okay, a slider bar. So let's go through this. I'll show you real quick what uh, what you can do with this. Let's create a, let's create an image. We're going to use my character concept design style here, which uh, I will make available on my Google downloads. It might already be there. Uh, I, I'm updating my styles CSV uh, file, and I'll get that uploaded uh, as soon as I can. But in the meantime. Let's just generate an image. Uh, we'll do epic female warrior. Okay. Oh, you know what? I want this to be 16 by 9. Let's do 5 by 4. Should give us a uh, kind of a character sheet, front, side, back. Yeah, it turned out good. Then what you're going to do, once that gets done, it's a good character sheet. We're going to use this button here. Uh, it has a, the, the 90 degree angle on it to send to extras. Okay. We don't even need to select an upscaler here. Okay, we're not going to upscale it at this point. I'm going to show you real quick a couple things. So if you enable the pixelization, if that's all you do, we're going to change the pixelization level. So this is the size of the pixels. I don't know if that's like number of pixels big or whatever, but you can you know, play with it and get get used to it. We're just going to put it at four and hit generate. Should be pretty quick. And as you can see, it gave us some pixelization, but you, you notice it looks kind of soft almost uh, out of focus and uh, it took me a little while when I originally started playing with this to figure out what was going on for whatever reason this button here where it says keep resolution 
uh, fix us at. Okay, it uh, sh keeps everything sharp. So let's enable that and regenerate. And as you can see, we get a much sharper uh, pixels on this. It's interesting that it's got, there must have been some gradients in the background with that. So and you can adjust that pixelization level. Let's make it, let's take it down a little bit. So we get a little more detail in the character, but it still looks like pixelization. So um, we can increase the size, go up to nine. That should really pixelize it. Looks like something out of a <laughs> eight bit game almost. Kind of cool. And you know, you can play with the, when you're originally generating the character, you can give it flat coloring. So there's not so much gradient, you know, shadows and stuff like that. Uh, cartoons or whatever would probably work great for this. Um, something you want to keep in mind is if you do decide to upscale it from um, its original size, which this particular one is 1024 by 816. So let's say we're going to double that, okay? And let's say we were working with, originally with a pixelization of uh, maybe 6. So let's render it at 6 so you can see what that looks like, okay? So... We're getting some decent pixelization. I would That's something you could definitely use. You even got rid of the background pixelization. Uh, so it's solid white now. So those are something you could use. But if you decide to double it, let's go ahead and pick a, a sampler here, or a 4X Ultra Sharp. We're just gonna double it up. And what we get back here, once it comes through with this, uh, is something that is not quite as pixelized. Let's see. Resolution. Oh, you know, I bet you that's what keep resolution does. It did maintain the pixelization even at the higher res. Let's try four times. So it is pretty much what I thought. So at two times, you're not going to you're see much of a difference in the size of the pixel. So we didn't change this down here. It's still pixel size is set to six. What we did is we quadrupled the size of the image. And as you can see, the pixelization is very small. You can see it's there, but it's definitely a lot smaller. And so as you increase the resolution of the image, you will, you will need to increase the size of the pixels uh, down here to get the same level of pixelization. So as you can see, we, we quadrupled it, but we increased it to 10, and we definitely get a better pixelization on that. Increase it to 16. Definitely get a lot more pixelization on it. We are get some, getting some haloing on that. I don't know if that's a side effect of the uh, pixelization process. I would think so because I'm working in PNGs, if I'm not mistaken. We'll check that. Yeah. There shouldn't be any JPEG artifacting, so it looks like that might be... Uh, an effect of the pixelization process, which, you know, honestly, if you're going to be cutting these out um, using Photoshop or background removal tool or whatever, they should come out pretty, pretty nice. In fact, uh, let's just see what that looks like if we do do a background removal on those. Yeah, that turned out really well. There was a little touch up you would need to do there, but uh, it removed the background on that really well. Cool. So that's uh, the pixelization extension in a nutshell. Um, play around with it. Have fun with it. I think this is great for doing things like if you're working in uh, creating something in retro video games. It works great on backgrounds as well. Uh, I did that in my previous video. I did, I don't know how long ago. Um, let's come over here. Let's do this. Cyber. Let's see what we got. Cyberpunk City Stream. Let's just throw that out there render something out real quick here and pixelize it. I know a lot of people, that's kind of what they, they want to do is, is create some sort of retro gaming with it, which I love. My brother's totally into it, my youngest brother. In fact, he uh, has done some artwork for Atari, uh, Atari Age, and uh, people who are still making games for like the Atari Jaguar and stuff. So there we go. We got an image. Let's send that over to this here. Let's go ahead and we're going to just 
double and we're gonna bring the pixelization back down to let's say nine i just want to see what that looks like and we'll, yeah we'll leave that doesn't take too long to render these out kind of makes me wonder how this would look you know yeah that turned out great look at that i mean it does the pixelization so well um some of the lore is it's almost like it pretends to do pixelization because they're training on images that have pixelization, but the AI will kind of blend stuff and, so, uh, and uh, you'll get smoother corners than you should. With this here, it is, it is literally pixelizing it. So I think that looks great. So that's it. Uh, I'm Eric with Alchemy with Zero Face. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. would love to hear your comments. We'll talk to you later.